All right, you guys, peep game. This is your boy, Town Biz. All right, so once again, I need y'all to help me understand something. Well, I already understand it because at the end of the day, it's narrative pushing and it's just capping. And you know, at the end of the day, I'm not sneak dissing nobody. I ain't got to sneak diss nobody. At the end of the day, if somebody mad at something that I'm saying in the video, it's because it's the truth about your ass. At the end of the day, a lot of y'all just ain't credible because you sit up and talk behind your computer you don't go to no no fights you don't interview nobody you just sit up there and just make up shit and you make it bad for the people that's actually out in the field trying to be credible trying to build their their name up and their platform up by trying to do real work in the field and that's what i try to do but I see that some of you guys are rather listening to fantasy boxing content channel who just sit up there and lie. And like I said before, it sounds good, but at the end of the day, is it good? You know, we all know and we all know in life, a lot of times the best foods that taste the best ain't necessarily good for you. But however, or just certain things that you enjoy may not be good for you in the, in the grand scheme of things down, in the long run, down the line. But I need for y'all to help me understand something. Like I said, I do understand it. Because it's about narrative pushing and having an agenda. And like I said, I don't have to expose nobody. These dudes expose themselves. So the topic of yesterday around the boxing circuit was this whole debacle with Shakur Stevenson and Frank Martin and basically Frank Martin pulling out of the fight because that's what he did. But everybody trying to find a way to try to make it Shakur Stevenson's fault. And then some people having the audacity to try to say that Shakur Stevenson is being a hypocrite by not giving Frank Martin a 50-50 split of the purse. And this is what these dudes do. So let me get this straight. Frank Martin should get a 50-50 split of the purse. But keep in mind, these were the same niggas last year that was telling Terrence Crawford he didn't deserve nowhere near uh, a 50-50 split of the purse and he wasn't trying to make the fight. He was being unreasonable and all this stuff and he don't have the drawing power, the popularity that Errol Spence have. And here it is, Frank Martin, a dude that's yet to fight in a full-fledged arena that's fighting in ballrooms that hold the capacity of no more than maybe 3,000 people at best is deserving of a 50-50 split who who was guaranteed at least a million dollars turned down a fight who was making a upwards of anywhere between 75 to 100 grand per fight and people trying to justify that but like I said, so let me get this straight. Frank Martin, a, a, a ballroom fighter, a ballroom fighter is supposed to get a 50-50 split with Shakur Stevenson, but Terrence Crawford, a dude who had been fighting in full-fledged arenas since for a while, ain't worthy of 50-50 or nowhere near 50-50 to fight Errol Smith, you guys are fucking delusional. And you guys are liars. And I'm going to continue to call you guys out and expose y'all for the frauds that you are. So make that make sense. Anybody that's listening to this video, this isn't about being on Terrence Crawford's jock or, or being a Terrence Crawford. I'm just asking a question and I'm calling it how I see it. These is what, what these dudes were regurgitating. This is what they were putting out. These dudes love pocket watching anybody that's not affiliated with the PBC. So everybody want to watch Shakur Stevenson pockets when it comes to Devin Haney. And I don't know how many times I got to say this. Shakur Stevenson don't have to go down the path that Devin Haney went to get where he was. Everybody have different stories. Everybody in the Bay is proud of what Devin Haney did. Everybody is proud of what Bill did with Devin. He did an excellent job, a superb job, and he's an excellent father. He did a great job with Devin, and I tell Bill that all the time. So they went through what they went through, and Shakur went through what he went through. Terrence Crawford is a... So like I said, let me get this straight. Frank Martin, who hasn't done next to nothing. 
is supposed to get a 50-50 split of the purse. But Terrence Crawford, a undisputed champion at 140, who y'all narrative was, oh, he isn't deserving because he hasn't fought anybody. Well, who in the fuck is Frank Martin that fought? To warrant him asking for a 50-50 split. At the end of the day, like I said before, they just didn't want the fight. And that's all it come down to. They didn't want the fight. And it's as clear as day. But like I said before, you will have these dudes, once again, these PBC nut huggers or these Errol Spence fanboys trying to protect anybody affiliated with Errol Spence. And you, you can't. At the end of the day, an announcement got made by all parties involved that a deal had been reached. It was a, it, it, a deal had been reached and then they pulled out of the deal. They waited four days to say, oh, well, um, we're not interested in the fight and we're going to go another direction. And people say, well, I understand if he decides to fight Tank, that's a very lucrative payday. But then Tank recently came out and said, we ain't fighting Frank Martin. We 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 fighting crew. So where does that leave? So what's the next uh, fight out there for Frank Martin? For real, I'll wait. Like I said, you dudes do this to, to y'all selves. You guys are compulsive, inconsistent pocket watchers. The only hypocrites are you guys. How are you going to sit up there and flat out try to justify and say that Frank Martin is justified for asking for a 50-50 split? But Terrence Crawford wasn't. And this is why I understand why CJ and a lot of other people get on these dudes and call them, you know, fake pro-black dudes, Wakanda niggas and all that kind of stuff because they do come across as fake and disingenuous. Like I said before, I'm not worried about nobody on here. That's just real. That's just real talk. A lot of you dudes are, are frauds. Once again, when does Frank Martin headline a fight at a, at a, a arena? He fought, he fought at the, the ballroom in the Cosmopolitan Hotel. He fighting in ballrooms, conference rooms. You know why? Because he's not at the point where he could sell out, where he could sell out or at least get, listen, when they, when you fight at arenas, they want you to be guaranteed to sell a certain amount of tickets or they won't let you come back. They want you to be at least capable of selling at least anywhere, depending on how much, how much the uh, venue hold, how many people it hold. If it holds 20,000 at capacity, they want you to at least be able to sell out half of it or based off how many tickets you make available. So if the stadium holds, let's just say, or arena holds anywhere from, you know, if it's a baseball stadium that holds like 40,000, they want you to at least be able to try to make 25,000 seats available to sell. Same thing for a basketball arena. If they feel like you can sell the whole thing out there, they'll let you make as many seats available as possible. But they do have a minimum of how many seats you should be able to sell. Shakur Stevenson can sell 10,000 tickets. Can Frank Martin do that? Headline the fight? Absolutely not. Could Frank Martin go, go to Indianapolis right now and get like 10,000 people at, I don't even know what the stadium is, where the Indianapolis uh, or where the Indiana Pacers play at. Could he be guaranteed to get 10,000 people there? And he was born in Detroit. Could he be guaranteed to get over 10,000 people at the Little Caesars Arena? That's how it works. And that's why a lot of these dudes look like fools. But like I said before, they look stupid because you guys got to remember when you push the record button, and you say what you say, 
and you stop the record button, you edit it and you, you upload it to YouTube, it stays on here unless you take it down. And people will run across these old videos from like two years ago or a year ago be like, wait a minute. And like I said before, you guys look like fools. So once again, explain to me, Terrence Crawford wasn't worth nowhere near 50-50 when it came to Errol Spence, but Frank Martin is supposed to get a 50-50 split of the purse with Shakur Stevenson. And what has Frank Martin done? Who is Frank Martin for? Keep in mind, that's the same. That was the same narrative and notion you kept pushing toward Terrence Crawford. Like I said, man, it's easy to expose you dudes, man. I'm done. I got to get ready for work. I'm out.